Hello everyone, Neil from BookBolt here, and in this video I want to go over an update that we have pushed to the BookBolt Studio that's going to allow you to put your solutions for the puzzles you're creating in either your puzzle books or your activity books on different pages and really speed up the process of customizing your books. So let's go ahead and get started. You see I'm on the computer here. I've created a new project to show you guys how this works, and I called it Puzzle Solutions Update. Now, in order to get to the puzzle and start building out our interior for our book here, we want to select page one, which I've already done, and open up the page templates. Now, if we go to Word Puzzles, you'll notice here are all of the Word Puzzles. We also have mazes included, and each one of these is going to have similar options when it comes to where you can place the solutions. So for this video, let's go ahead and use Sudoku as our puzzle of choice because that does not require you to add a CSV file and it'll be faster to show off the different updates that we have applied. So we'll go ahead and we'll select uh, Sudoku here and it's going to ask first what page you want to put your puzzles on. Now I always recommend when testing out the updates that you only do one page at a time. This is going to make sure that you can go through, delete the puzzle, check out a different option, so you have a really good understanding of what each option does before you end up doing your 100-200 page project. Let's go ahead and select page one and we'll go to next. Now, you're probably pretty familiar if you watch any of our previous tutorials on how puzzles work. Each puzzle has a different option set, but you'll notice there's going to be a, an option placed here that is brand new called Solution Placement. Now, under Solution Placement, there's a drop-down menu. You see that there's a few options. If I reset by default, it's going to work like it always has, where it's going to add the solutions right after the puzzle pages. So if you do a puzzle page on page one, it's automatically going to put the solutions on page two. If you do puzzles on page one through five, then pages, you know, the next five pages will be the puzzle solutions. Now that is pretty self-explanatory, but we also have an option to do no solution. So if you don't want a solution on your page, you'd simply come in here and click on submit, and you'll notice page one has a puzzle on it, but page two does not. So in order to kind of show off the other options, let's select page two and go through that again. We'll open up the page templates. We'll go to Word Puzzle. We'll select Sudoku. We'll select page two. And this time, let's change it to manually select solutions page. Now, this is probably one of the most highly requested options that is now part of the BookBolt Studio because this is going to allow you to do your puzzles or if you're doing an activity book, maybe you want Sudoku pages on 1 through 15, but you want those solutions at the back of the book. This is what you'd want to select there. So remember, we only selected page 2 for our puzzle just to demonstrate how this works. But if we selected manually select solution page, we're going to put one puzzle on page 2. The next page is going to tell you where the puzzle is going to be. So you can very clearly see, yes, puzzle one will be on page two. But in this case, maybe I want the solutions page on page 22. Not right after it, but instead at the end of the book. So I can select page 22 manually here and click on submit. So you'll see page two has now filled out a blank puzzle. And if we scroll all the way down in our left-hand menu to page 22, we now have the solutions. So that's going to be really helpful for speeding up your work process here. So let's go through one more time. Page three, we're going to open up the interior templates library. We're going to select word puzzle. In this case, we're going to select Sudoku. But again, these options are for each and every puzzle type. We'll come in here. We'll select page three again. And now you actually have uh, the next page after each puzzle page. So let's let's go back actually. Let's change the pages. Let's put a page on page three, a puzzle, excuse me, on page three, page five, and page seven. Right? So we'll have a blank, a blank, and a blank. So we'll click next. And if you're doing every other page, we want to do next page after each puzzle. This is another option that's going to allow you to do one puzzle page, then the solutions. One puzzle page, than the solutions. So if we go ahead and click on next, you'll notice that it's automatically going to select. You'll see you already selected where the puzzles are going to go, page three, page five, and page seven, but it's automatically going to place the solutions with that drop down option on each page in between. So page four, solution one, page six, solution two, right after page five, which is puzzle two, and so on and so forth. So we can go ahead and click on submit, and just like that, it is going to fill out page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven, and page eight. And each one, you'll notice, is the blank puzzle page 
and then the solution. So those are going to be the updates. I hope you guys really enjoy them and you put them to use in your you know, interiors that you're creating for your books and getting them published on KDP as quickly as possible. This really should help speed up that work time in creating those puzzle books and those activity books. So that's going to be all for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Till next time, guys. Thanks so much.